Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I am teaching you how to build this CSS drop-down menu. So this is very simple and interactive drop-down menu. I think I generate very easy code of drop-down menu for you. So firstly, open HTML and CSS file in the Notepad++. So yeah, this is very good. And type all the global structure of HTML. Open HTML and close the HTML. Sorry, HTML and inside HTML open head tag and again don't forget to close it and give them title of our navigation bar to drop down menu and now link our CSS file to HTML rel rel means relationship between our CSS file between our HTML is style sheet and type is text slash CSS and href means path path is style.css our HTML and CSS file we which are in the one folder so now select body tag sorry open body tag and close it and inside the body tag open html5 selector nav i think firstly i will give the heading to our page close heading one tag so give them heading of css drop down menu sorry menu and after this firstly I check this is working properly or no oh that's our old open new over which is we now building yeah, yeah so yeah that's working good so now open our HTML5 selector nav and give them ID nav underscore wrap and don't forget to close nav inside nav now open unordered list and close it inside unordered list now open list items and close and now open anchor tags href equals firstly close and href give them hash and type all the categories by control plus d you can copy these lines copy the for five times and change the categories products second number products and on third number gallery on the fourth contact us and the at last is about so yeah now so now for the drop down menu uh, shift down these products list item down and inside this now we again open unordered list and close so we repeat all the process again copy the, these gallery and paste it by control plus V and also copy these lines for 5 times by control plus D and change these categories on the first number electronics on the second number toys sorry clothes on the third number give them category of toys on the fourth which is mobile and on the fifth at and last which is furniture so now I check so this is looking good and working and repeat the this process again with gallery repeat this process process in the gallery copy and paste it by control plus V and delete two items and 
on the first category give them company on the second number city and at last change choice to address so now our html is i think completed and we check it that is working or not so yeah that's it working good and now we style our html so star star is a universal selector it selects all the tags and give them margin 0 pixels and padding 0 pixels so now our all these all the all the tags are now margin gone to zero so now select nav wrap nav wrap is our html5 selector nav so now give them margin from top 15 pixels and now select nav wrap nav wrap inside the nav wrap we select our unordered list unordered list give them style list style to none and float to left side so now check so css is applying so now we style more and looks more great and now select nav wrap inside nav wrap unordered list and select anchor tags so now so now we select all the anchor tags inside unordered list so all the anchor tags display in block and give them also color hash 333 and text decoration none which is underlined so don't we did not want any underline so change the font size sorry font weight to 700 and also change the font size to i think to 12 pixel is good and change the line height to 32 pixels and also give them some padding from top and bottom to 0 and left to right to 15 pixels and now check so this is working good and after this now we select nav wrap inside the nav wrap we selecting an order list list item and now we selecting all the list items so give them position relative so after this float to left side so now now we have our list items all float to left side so now after this we select list items when we hover on list items the color changes to background color changes to hash uh F6, F6, and F6, which is light gray color. So check. So yeah, that's looking good. But styling are left. Our code is some left, and style more. So now select our unordered list inside nav wrap. So now we selecting. our drop down menu so display uh i think none so now we don't want to display the unordered list because when we hover so then the display is available so give them position absolute and after this unordered list in now we selecting the drop down list items so give them with off 150 pixels and check it so yeah now that's working good and after this now we select our nav wrap inside the nav wrap we are selecting now a uh, anchor tags inside of our drop down menu now we selecting anchor tags of our drop down menu and give them line height of 120 pixels percent sorry now we give them percent and give them also padding of 1 10 pixels from top and bottom from left and right side to 15 pixels and now we applying the when we hover on list items so our unordered list which we 
on the top we display none now we display the block so now our unordered list displayed when we hover on list items so i think our styling is completed but check so this is working and looking pretty pretty good so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel